This is a video that a lot of people have asked me for is how to uh, work with contacts in Google Mail. So what I'm going to do here is click on contacts. So you're in your Google Mail obviously. So you'll notice there's two tabs here. So you have to open your contacts uh, tab. Now um, to create groups for uh, peers uh, you basically have to add them as contacts. For the most part they're in the system. So if I write the name of somebody that's in the system I just need to click on it and it will add it to your contact. So here's an example of one that's in the system. Just be careful because there are extensions that in the system that have been migrated over uh, sometimes. Uh, if you uh, you notice here's the same person but with a, a different, ex this one would not work so I would click on this one. Uh, let's pretend I had another group. I would click um, that other person's name. So just go there you go I'll add him and then I just click add so now they're added into my contacts um, so, you, so you find those two that you just added so I just clicked on both and you'll see this little icon appears here this is the group icon that allows you to create a contact group that uh, will be a shortcut so you don't have to type everybody's email every time so what I do is when they're selected I can, if I already created the group, I just click and check and put them where it goes. Or if I need to create a new group, I'll click uh, new group contacts for whatever, you know, if that's uh, your baseball team, etc. Click OK. And what you'll notice is it shows up here, OK, as well. So you can always click here to get the fast link of who's in there. So that's a, a really handy way to, uh, to, to figure out who's in what group. So whenever you add somebody new, uh, you just go back to your contacts, click here, and uh, just add them. The other thing that's neat to know is that you can see at a glance which groups you have these people in. So if uh, you're not sure if you've added them in, um, that's one way to do it. Now, one thing that I, a lot of people in our board, uh, school board are doing is they're wondering how do I get uh, a, cl a class list in um, and the secret is is you go to the our website and search up search for your class list and I will do that here under staff room beta and I will click on that open it up and extract the class so find your class, whatever it may be, and I don't want to go through because I've already done it. But um, and what you have to do is click View Report, and uh, this is the same thing as if if you were uh, no from an, trying to figure out how to do the contacts. You need to download this as an Excel file. So once you're in Excel, you click it, you open it. Okay, well normally it opens. It always upgrade upload it to Google Do Drive if uh, that's the case, but if it if it just opens, the reason why I'm doing all this cuz I want to be able to select just a column. So often if you're working in various web apps, you might not be able to do that. And um, so I'm just going to wait for 2 seconds here. Click on this should open. So this is what I need for my class. So I'm going to select just this. So let's pretend I only needed these. So Control C, go back to my uh, app, and add these contacts in the group. Now it's usually easier if I create the group ahead of time like this. And um, well actually, never mind that. It's you. So here's the secret a lot of people wouldn't see. You have to paste it in here. Instead of adding them one at a time, you paste them in there. Okay, that's there's other ways to do it, but I think that's probably the simplest. Click add and it will add them all. The only catch with this shortcut is that it doesn't add their name. So um, I leave that up to you to decide if you think that's good enough. What I usually do with mine, I'll just show you an example of one I'm planning on doing, is find some time if you want and add their names after. You click here and just add their name, call the students one up at a time and that's a pretty good way to do that. 
So hopefully that was useful. So how to create contact groups for either um, groups of teachers or groups of people in your organization and or even for students in our organization. Thank you very much.